Delta V's S-Series electronic marshalling delivers a new level of control system I.O. performance with unprecedented flexibility and ease of use. A key component of the electronic marshalling architecture are the characterization modules, or CHARMs, that provide the 8D conversion and characterization of the different types of I.O. signals coming from the field. Another important component is the CHARM I.O. card, or CIOC, which supports up to 96 individually configurable channels, providing the redundant communications between the CHARMs and the Delta V S-Series controllers on the control network. Let's assume that we have an existing Delta V system, as shown here in our navigation tool, that we call the Delta V Explorer. We see that this system includes a workstation, two controllers, and a CIOC. Now, say we want to add online a new CIOC and illustrate how to commission it. When the CIOCs are inserted in their carriers, they are powered up and get initialized. Notice that in this case we are also connecting the CIOCs to the control network using Ethernet cable and connecting directly to a network switch. It's important to note that throughout the online edition of the new CIOC, the rest of the Delta V system remained running and unaffected as shown here. The new CIOC will automatically appear on the Delta V Explorer in the Decommissioned Nodes category. When multiple CIOCs are connected, an Identify feature allows to flash the LEDs on a specific CIOC for easy recognition. Let's flash the LEDs on the new CIOC. The new CIOC can now be commissioned using the Delta V Explorer by dragging and dropping it on the I.O. network. Using the Properties dialog box, a name and description could also be given to the CIOC. At this point, the newly commissioned CIOC will auto-sense the charms. For now, the charms are assigned Default Device Signal Tags, or DSTs. Later on, each charm will have to be configured with the appropriate DST. Notice also that the CIOC has not been assigned to any particular controller yet, and that the yellow triangle indicates this node requires a download. In fact, CIOC and charms could be commissioned, auto-sensed, and configured independent of controllers. Charm details are configured by right-clicking and selecting Properties. In a similar way as explained before for the CIOC, you can identify a charm by flashing the green LED on it. Now we are going to insert a new charm. As we add more charms, the adjacent ones remain unaffected. Back on the Charm Properties dialog box, we are going to configure the first module on the top as an analog input from a heart device. All charms could be assigned to a controller by dragging and dropping the CIOC to a particular S-Series controller. This could be done also for individual charms. The final commissioning step is to make the CIOC go live. This is done by transferring the CIOC configuration from the configuration database to the actual CIOC. This is also known as downloading the CIOC. We are now going to perform this download from the Delta V Explorer. The green LED on each charm will go from blinking to solid green, confirming the charm is configured and working properly. Let's briefly illustrate this system in operation. Consider the case of a simple discrete loop when the operator actuates this toggle switch which comes via a discrete input signal, and as a result, a lamp is turned on which corresponds to a discrete output signal. As we have seen briefly, 
Delta V provides great flexibility and ease to expand an existing system with CIOC and charms. The expansion does not interfere with the operation of the running system and is totally risk-free.